from that to something else, um, uh, Wayne was saying to me, uh, mentioning a, a story he heard me tell at another show somewhere, and and that leads into this a song that I've written uh, about toilet paper. Now this is um, I've, this is about the dreams and aspirations of one sheet of toilet paper as he's getting closer to the end of the roll because he doesn't know what life has in store for him. And um, I take toilet paper in my life very seriously. Um, some people have asked me, they've asked me, um, people have asked me why um, I would write a song about toilet paper. Well, one of the main reasons is actually I studied uh, toilet paper uh, at university. And, uh, well, <laughs> that's what I did my thesis on. But, um, <laughs> it, <laughs> you know, I wrote this song just so I could tell that gag. But, um, we, so in Yak, we got the food works, and, and on the back wall of um, the supermarket there, they've got, there's a whole section of it that's dedicated to toilet paper. And they've got this, uh, you would have heard this story at Tamworth, did you? Have you heard this story at Tamworth? You have? And you'd like to hear it again? It's very interesting, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so... I, I use a product called Eye Care, which is um, double length, double strength, two ply, uh, it's comfortable, uh, no nonsense, and so it's safe. And uh, it's, it, they're fairly tight rolls. When you pull them out they, and you give them a bit of a, 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 a twist, they squeak. And I really like that. And um, I, I was a little worried uh, a while back because I thought, look, with the two ply. Uh, I, I tear the paper off at the perforations there and, and I noticed that one ply that was hanging over the other one by about that much. And then there was, I'm a little bit OCD, so for the next few weeks, I, I, whenever I went to the toilet, I, was, I had to go in with a little pair of scissors. <laughs> and, um, and then I did a gig uh, not long ago in Millicent, the, South Australia, and someone came up to me and said, oh, I, that, that problem you've got with your toilet paper, I know how to fix that. I said, how do you know that? Because we used to work at Kimberley Clark. The, uh, <laughs> they, they made toilet paper. I thought, oh, I can't believe it. I got someone who worked in a toilet paper factory, you know, and I'm here I am singing the song. It was like homecoming. And um, <laughs> so they, they said, all you've got to do is get that ply that, that's overhanging and you just take it back around the roll and then just... Rip and they'll all line up again. Oh, I said, oh, that's fantastic. It's really good to know. <laughs> and when he said Kimberly Clark, it just sort of put, I thought, Kimberly Clark, that, that would be a good name for a country singer. You know, imagine, you know, and the winner of female vocal with the toilet paper song is Kimberly Clark. You know. Hey, thank you. And um, so um, toilet paper is sold per hundred sheets. Uh, that's how they break the price down. So when you look at it, that's how you know. Uh, how, how you pay for so I always try to stay between between 25 and 32 cents per hundred sheets because uh, I think any less than 25 well any more than 32 and it's, you're just paying for embossing and printing and all this stuff and any less than 25 you're sort of heading down to this black and gold territory now black and coal make good popcorn there's nothing wrong with their popcorn but that, and I'm not suggesting you do the job with a handful of popcorn I'm just saying the popcorn's good uh, but black and gold toilet paper at the moment's around about 18 and 19 cents. No good, folks. No good. Um, oh, that stuff really should be sold with a complimentary nail brush, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> but um, this, um, this, so here's my little, uh, here's my little toilet paper song, which uh, incidentally has won no awards at Tamworth, and I don't think is in any danger of. I'm a sheet of toilet paper waiting on the roll with a good view of a calendar and a big ceramic bowl. We were put up here just yesterday because that's what people do. Find out which way the roll goes and unstick that bit of glue. It's so good to be up here. We've waited quite a time on that long stick in the corner in the toilet paper line. I don't know what my job is, but I guess I'll chubbies. But I guess I'll find out soon. It's bound to be exciting with all the action in this room. Well, they're sitting and they're standing, this reading of the news. I 
I'd like to know where I come in and what I'm supposed to do. I've done some sly observing, and this is what I've found. The paper only leaves the roll if the person's sitting down. Well, I don't have long to wait now. There's someone at the door. If it's a sit-down user, I won't be on this roll no more. There go the perforations. And it's farewell to my clan Whatever I'm supposed to do I'm gonna do the best I can At least I'm gonna have a crack I'm gonna have a crack I'm looking forward to the future And I won't be coming back I won't be slack I won't get the sack Whatever else may happen I'm gonna have a crack I'm gonna have a crack I'm gonna have a crack I don't care if you I'm keen and that's a fact you can't distract And I won't retract I won't listen to no smear campaign I'm going to 